What's up everyone, my name is Sergio and this is A Dancer's Mindset. Today I bring a video for the Working On series, where I show you the work behind ballet solos, the story and analyze the steps and style. This time I, I will be working on Frank's variation in the third act from the ballet Coppelia. Some of you guys were asking me to do more of these videos, so here you have the next one. I will leave you down here the variations I did before in case you haven't watched yet. But before we jump into it, let me remind you to subscribe to this channel and to share my videos with other people that you think they will find this interesting. This can really help this channel grow and help me create more videos for you guys. For this solo, I will show you a video of a performance on stage when I had the chance to dance it. So we can also see the costume and a different perspective of, the, of this variation. Now yes, let's start. Coppelia is a ballet in three acts, with choreography of Arthur Saint Leon and music from Leo de Lides. This sentimental but also comic story is based on E.T.A. Hoffman, The Sandman, from 1815, and had its premiere the 25th of May 1870 in the Paris Opera. The ballet is about a girl named Coppelia who sits on her balcony all day reading and never speaking to anyone. A boy named Franz falls deeply in love with her and wants to marry her even he's already engaged with another woman. His fiancée, Swanilda, sees his friends throwing kisses at Coppelia, but Swanilda soon learns that Coppelia is actually a doll that belongs to Dr. Coppelius, the mad scientist, and she decides to impressionate the doll in order to win the love of Franz. Everything becomes a big chaos, but all is soon forgiven. Swanilda and Franz make up and get married, dancing a grandpa de deux in which there is a solo we will be looking at today. The ballet is located in Galicia, a province of Hungary at the time, and we can see in the ballet the Hungarian traditional dance, Chardash, and the choreography is full of details in the arms and steps from the same traditional dance, giving a lot of character to the piece. Today our focus goes to Franz, the popular guy in the village. He is handsome, he is young, and he likes to flirt with other girls. This gives him trouble during the ballet, when he falls in love with a doll, making Swanilda really, really jealous. But he is a good, guy, a good guy and really loves Swanilda, so they end up getting married. As we can see from the style of this ballet and the character of Franz, the dancing has to be energetic and powerful, with a pinch of cockiness and big passion. The costume that you will see in this video is quite simple. White tights, white shirt and a red belt. I am wearing white because I am dancing on my wedding in front of all my guests and I add the red belt to still include a bit of character for the piece and the personality of Franz. Now that we have the background, let's see what are the steps I chose. This solo is divided in three parts, like most of the classical ballet solos, with two jump sections at the beginning and at the end and one pirouette section in the middle. For the first jump section, I went with jumps that shows character, like a tandem flesh. And the pirouette section is very simple, with normal pirouettes and these small cabrioles in between, showing that small pinch of cockiness we were talking about earlier. And for the last part, it's just a diagonal of double tours, finishing with pirouettes and a very characteristic ending. We can see the steps are normal, but what shows the difference is the energy, the arms and the style. This is a really fun solo to dance, giving you a lot of freedom and the chance to play with the audience. The most challenging, the most challenging part of France is that no matter what you do technically, you have to dance like nothing is happening, having great energy while being poised. Now, let's look once to the full solo. <laughs>
was all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, that this series is back and I hope you enjoyed this video working on Frank Solo. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.